Hey guys, um, I'm going to do two videos tonight. This one uh, is going to be about the 8800 GT using cover, how I'm going to be testing them. And the next video is going to be about uh, wet stuff. Um, just to give you a little uh, hint, uh, I'm going to be um, not going to be going, I'm just going to be going over some major updates. I'm going to be reviewing Firefox 3. I'm going to be showing some pretty sweet stuff, uh, liquid CSS and all that wonderful, great dandy stuff. Um, first off, Happy Halloween, all you kids out there. Um, go on Wiki or something and look up the meaning of Halloween. Um, and uh, nice to know why we celebrate these things other than to spend money. So, anyway, uh, let's get to the video stuff because that's what you guys want to hear about. Um, no, I don't have them yet, of course, but I did want to go over how I'm going to be testing the video cards out so you, you can get a pretty solid idea that um, I want to cover as many different um, perspectives so if you're only going to be getting one or you're considering it versus ATI and whatnot or I mean there's there's a lot of different perspectives out there and I when I read, read the reviews it's like if they actually cover something that I care about like they test it in oblivion or they um, they test it with virtual memory disabled like I would expect them to the stuff that I would care about they they hardly ever do that and so I really want to uh, cover as much as I can so to make my viewers happy um, so anyway uh, let's see here crisis on BitTorrent the, de well, the demo okay um, crisis the game is coming out on my birthday no I'm not gonna be getting it uh, I, I'll probably buy it when it's like 20 bucks on Walmart or whatever um, because I'm going to be busy playing the other games and I'm going to be busy updating my own website uh, some pretty massive updates um, but anyway uh, the demo downloaded it's 115 kilobytes a second so if um, you're don't don't bother to waste people the, the, the website's bandwidth get the torrent uh, that was a pretty sweet download speed. I think I had one torrent that was faster. Uh, a Bleach anime video um, it was like 15, no, that was like 12, 1.2 megabytes, not bits, megabytes download. Um, so uh, it was a pretty sweet uh, download speed. I'm going to be using Fraps. Um, if I have no clue other than it's basically the oblivion of this year, and it's a shooter. I've read a little bit about the game, but if you um, inherently know how to measure the FPS in the game, um, let me know. Post it in, in, the, for, um, in the comments, and uh, I'll be glad to use both the in-game measurement, if they have one, I would assume so, and the uh, Fraps program. Um, yes, I have Fraps. Okay, uh, first off, I will be using XP first, and I will be using Vista. So don't worry. Um, I will be using the absolute latest drivers. I'm going to be waiting to the absolute last moment to download the drivers just in case they tweak the drivers at the last moment. Um, let's see here. Oblivion. I'm going to be testing Oblivion. So Crisis Oblivion. Um, I will also take your request if you can think of any other demo. Uh, I, oh, Bioshock. I uh, can't forget that. Um, I'm going to be testing that. I get I get pretty decent frame rates in Bioshock with my 7900 GT. I haven't tested it with Fraps yet. Uh, that game creeps me the hell out, man. But this is a pretty sweet game. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to be testing those games out. See what the frames per second. I do play um, Bioshock with everything maxed out at 1024, 768. Mostly like playing it at, at 1024 because that's what I work at on Windows. And a lot of you are like at 1280 or whatever, but I like my Windows maximized. I don't like everything massive, but that's fine. And I can alt-tab without having to wait five seconds for the screen to flicker. Um, but I will, for your sake, be benchmarking at maximum resolution, 512 megs. I mean, come on, that'll easily, that should be able to easily play everything at 16 by 1200. Um, let's see here. 3D Bench, 3D Mark 06. I've got some notes written down here so I can get this all talked about effectively. I will be uh, running that with a stock uh, clock on the GPU and memory 
in single card mode, stock clock and memory in SLI mode, then I will be removing one of the cards, testing the maximum um, overclocking I can get, putting the other card in, removing the card I first overclocked, testing the speed I, uh, I get out of that to see uh, which card is going to gimp the other one if if they're not uh, too close to each other and see what the overclocking capabilities are. Uh, I'm not going to do anything special to cooling. It's, I'm just going to use a stock cooling. Um, I mean, uh, if you really want to go crazy all out on that, the only um, time I've replaced um, the, a stock cooler was on my ATI All-in-Wonder 9700 Pro and uh, that was a, a dual slot but that was back when we had PCI, 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 PCI. So I didn't have to worry about blocking the only PCI Express 1 or 4X slot on the board. So I'm, I'm really wild at the single card. Uh, I don't I really don't want a, a, a two slaughter because uh, I don't mind if the, the hot air is in there. I'm not really that worried about the temperature. Um, the temperature is fine. I, I read the thermals all the time. Um, I can't remember what is off, is offhand, but it, it's in a comfortable range for everything being air cooled and whatnot. So um, <laughs> I don't need more hot air blowing around my room in Florida. It just by the way, the the weather got reasonably nice. So we just got out of summer, uh, hot summer to the. Uh, low grade summer because in Florida we have summer in the um, not so hot summer. So uh, power requirements: I top off tops, Blivian uh, 3D Mark 06, which I just ran the benchmark, and I'll tell you the the scores and all that later on when I get when I do the uh, the video tomorrow. Um, I hardly break 300 with my 7900 GT. The, the lower process and all that, it, it's, it, the, I'm not worried, but I will be putting in a single card, and if I, if I break more than, say, 350, I might be a little bit concerned about maybe running out of power, but I'm not really that concerned. I mean, honestly, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Um, I'll probably overclock the CPU a little bit, but I'm not going to be doing, uh, I'm not going to be tweaking voltages. In fact, I'm not wild about tweaking voltages myself, but I have flirted with it a little bit. Uh, it's a uh, Optron 185, 2 gigs of RAM, no virtual memory. So, um, if you want me to test out in a specific way, ask me. If you want to um, download a, uh, a certain demo, ask me. Because uh, I hate reading reviews and saying, I can't believe he did this, or he didn't do this, and why didn't he do this, and... So post it. You want me to do something special? I'll be happy to do it. Um, preferably post it before I go to bed. I usually crash around four or five o'clock in the morning Eastern time. So try to post your comments in there, or email me uh, jab underscore creations at yahoo.com, or you can IM me on Yahoo. Um, I'm usually only on Yahoo. And uh, shipping. Um, let's see here. Uh, Okay, here's the tracking. A flight delay occurred because of a mechanical reason. Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, well, that's kind of interesting. Well, it uh, it better show up tomorrow, or I am going to um, feel violent feelings. Right. So anyway, um, I'm gonna end the video. Go to the my web video, and um, that better show up tomorrow. Or I will be requesting UPS for a refund on my two-day air. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll post either way tomorrow. Update to see uh, where we are. And uh, I will post. Yes, I will. Okay. Enough of that. On to the web video.